Hey everybody, this is Joe Jackson, and you searched uh, chicken coops or chicken runs. Um, you wanted some additional information. I have a video series that I'm doing here that um, talks about all the aspects of raising backyard chickens, uh, even for your own consumption of fresh eggs or meat. Um, also, um, it'll be about how you can profit very well off just the sale of the eggs. So, hope you join me, subscribe to my channel to follow the series. I'm gonna be going into a lot of detail. So, I wanna show the coop. Um, remember, it's chickens. It's, you want them to have a safe home, um, clean home, uh, but you don't have to worry about the most expensive lumbers or the most expensive material because they mess a lot, okay? Uh, it's very easy to simp uh, you know, clean up and stuff like that, and I'll show you some of those things that I do. But as you notice on my chicken coop, there's nothing special. Actually, I'm going to turn it for a second. and uh, So there's nothing special here. It's, uh, I just Basically what I did for varmints or anything that might get in is I put plywood on the bottom side. Um, the hardware cloth is basically a, like a one by one uh, hardware cloth, so there's no animal can really push through that. Chicken wire is very flimsy; it can be broken very easy. Um, so I advise against chicken wire if you're out in the country, especially like I am, worried about animals. So as you see, most of this lumber is just reused lumber. Uh, the roof is just a see-through kind of um, plastic um, roof. Um, and I just put something up for looks. Um, it's not the best looking thing, but um, I just put a regular closet door here at the front to go in and out with a latch that um, basically, you know, you just latch the door as you go in and out, keep them secure at night. Inside the coop, as you see, I have lights. Uh, I'll be going through that as a series as well. Uh, the longer you keep light on a chicken, the more they produce eggs. So. You know, when it's early darkness time, uh, in the winter especially, you can run lights till about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, and it helps them to keep producing eggs. Um, the more light, the more eggs you have. Um, here's a little um, 12 bin uh, coop uh, chicken box that I picked up. You can find those, most of the uh, chicken, uh, chicken um, businesses that go under or redo these are just boxes that come out of there, um, and you can pick them up on Craigslist. Um, also on the chicken coop, uh, and I'll go on these later, is waters and feeders, I'll show you that. You, and I actually just section mine off. Um, so this section is for my, they're about four weeks now. Uh, this is a little section to keep them separate from the big ones. You never want to mix the little ones with the big ones, unless there's a mother involved. I'll go in that later as well. I have another section of Americanas. There's only two. They're out organically eating right now. Um, but I sectioned this off for them. And most of my hens stay in here. As you see, it's very clean uh, for a chicken coop. Now, this is uh, a week or so. And as you see, there's not much there. But um, there's a reason why. Um, what's cool about what I do is... Is this right here is a black mat, horse mat. That right there is a black horse mat for the floor. And I can show you an example here in a second. That horse mat uh, is used in barns and stalls. I use it for my dogs. I use it for a lot of different reasons. But it's very easy to clean up. You just put a shovel and just shovel it up and throw it in a wheelbarrow. And you can use that later for your yards, your uh, plants, and things like that. So as you see, this is just a very simple uh, uh, chicken coop. It was not very expensive. Um, also, uh, you can use, uh, we'll go over here, and uh, dog kennels, if you have an extra dog kennel, you can uh, use those as well. Just put a top on it so they can't fly out or no animals can come in them. Uh, and you can use a dog kennel for a, uh, a run for them. Uh, there's many different reasons. I, you know, um, I have three black copper marins in here just in some wire with a uh, plywood top on it. So, nothing fancy. Uh, they are healthy, they're safe, they got fresh water, great food, a nesting box. Uh, I just got through pulling the eggs out. Um, so I wanted to kind of go over chicken coop and how proficient you can make it for very cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, as well as you don't have to, uh, look, my goats are in here eating the chicken food. Get out of there. Uh, I, I actually, if you, as you see, they're running around the yard. 
I uh, love to form to eat fresh bugs and insects. It's very good for your mosquitoes around the, the yard. This was um, something I was keeping my baby chicks in when I was keeping them on heat. You'll see that in the series as well. And uh, here's just my, my collection from today. Look at them beautiful eggs. <laughs> just just today well i probably got 30 35 in there um it's a very profitable business so uh follow the um, this series and i'm going to teach you how to profit and benefit from an egg business of something that you're going to be doing anyway might as well make a little money as, as you will or a lot of money it's up to you so anyway very simple coop not a lot of money just use your imagination just remember the three things that are important to your chickens one safety two food water um other than that everything else will come right along so hopefully you got something out of this series uh the video series i mean this video and i hope you really get a lot of information out of the series that i'm uh, starting now so anyway thanks again and i hope you enjoyed the video today have a great day